Did you know that most knee pain doesn't actually originate in the knees? I'm Sarah Lynn, Senior Fitness Editor, NASM Certified Personal Trainer, and Pilates Instructor, here to tell you that knee pain isn't a result of weak knees. What most people don't know is that the underlying cause of knee pain is usually an issue with the hip or your ankle. It could be an alignment issue, a muscle weakness, or an imbalance, or all of the above. All of these issues can lead to knee tracking problems where the knee bends either inside or outside the line of the hip and ankle, putting excess force on the ligaments and tendons around the knee joint. By design, the knee has limited mobility. It can either bend or straighten in only one plane of movement. It's not meant to twist or flex laterally. So when an alignment issue causes a faulty movement pattern repeatedly over and over again, the knee will begin to wear down and you'll feel a lot of pain. All that to say, when it comes to alleviating knee pain through exercise, we must focus not only on the muscles surrounding surrounding the knee joint, but also the muscles that support the hip and ankle, including the glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps, and calves. We'll start with the simplest exercises for targeted strengthening. These are often the exercises taught in physical therapy. Then we'll move on to more complex and compound leg exercises that will help balance your leg strength around the knee to keep it moving in the right direction, both literally and figuratively. And remember, if your pain is persistent, please check with your doctor or physical therapist before beginning any exercise program. Let's get started. For our phase one exercises, we're going to work on isolating that contraction of the quadricep. So the first thing we're going to do is a quad set, which just means an isometric contraction of the quadriceps muscle that you'll hold for about 20 seconds. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, sit with your hands behind you so you're not really fighting to stay upright, and your legs are straight to begin. As you tighten your quadricep, you'll notice your heel lifts off the ground slightly. You're gonna hold that for 10 to 20 seconds and then release it back down. You'll do that again. You could do both legs alternating or do a few sets on each leg and switch. We're really trying to just fire up the quad. It's that simple. I would do about five of these on each leg. For the next exercise, we're going to take the quad set and add to it. So this is a front leg lift. You'll stay in the same seated position, resting back on your hands. Engage your quadricep and then lift the leg off the ground about two feet. Do it again, quad set lift and down. Let's aim for eight to 10 reps of these. I'd say one to two sets is probably fine. And then of course, switch sides. Next, we'll do side leg lifts. So take a side lying position on your mat and you're going to look down and make sure you can see your toes just in front of your body. You don't want your feet all the way in front of you and you don't want them behind you either. So just looking down the front of your body, make sure you can see your toes or your shoelaces. Take this top hand and press down the top hip so that you feel a little lift here in your oblique and then you'll be in a neutral position in your spine. From here with the hand on the hip, you're gonna lift your top leg up to about hip distance or a little, a little higher and come back down. Lift again. Here you should feel this in your glutes, your glute medius in particular. Now, a lot of times people make the mistake of wanting to go too high and you'll see this. They'll lift their leg and they'll drop in their waist, but that takes it out of your glute and all of a sudden it becomes about your waist. So we're really trying to get this area to do the work. And of course you'll have to do both sides. So you'll do two to three sets on each side eight to 10 reps each. For the first exercise in this phase, we'll do lateral band walks. For this exercise, you're gonna need a mini loop band. These are easy to find on Amazon and pretty cheap, and you can use them for a lot of different exercises, so they're a good thing to pick up. You're going to put the band over the knee. So step into it, and bring it above the kneecap. It's important to keep it above the kneecap if you're already having knee pain because it will be a little more protective for that knee joint. Once you're in the band, you're going to take about eight to 10 steps to one side. Now for me today, because I'm on camera, I'm just gonna do two steps to each side and then switch directions. So with a little bit of a bend, a half squat, step out to the side and together. Out to the side, together. And you'll keep doing that, making sure to do the same amount in both directions. What you wanna feel are your glute muscles up here. If this starts to feel like you want more challenge, you can either get a heavier band, or if you are feeling like you can keep your alignment intact, 
move the band to your shins. For the next exercise, you'll need a sturdy chair and we're going to do sit to stand squats. This is a great way to practice the squat motion, but you have a little added security with the chair right here. So you'll start seated at the edge of the chair, pulling the core in, feet hip distance apart. Take a minute to make sure your knees are pointing straight over your second toe and reach your arms straight out in front of you. From here, breathe in and as you exhale, stand up to a straight leg position and then inhale, lowering slowly, reaching your hips back down for the chair. Do it again. Up. Slowly lowering down, reaching for the chair. As much as you can, try not to just drop back down onto the chair, but control it all the way. You'll do about eight to 10 reps of those, two to three sets. For the next exercise, the Romanian deadlift, you'll need two dumbbells or kettlebells or a barbell if you have one. This is a great exercise for hamstring strength and it really helps protect the knee from the back of your leg. So you're gonna bring the weights in front of you, feet hip distance apart, stand nice and tall and pull the core in nice and strong. As you start to hinge the body forward, shift your weight into your heels, keep the back long and straight in a neutral spine, go as far as you can with that straight back and then come all the way back up to standing. Try it again, hinge forward, Try to keep the weight right near the shins and come back up. As you go forward, pull the belly button in. Keep the shoulders pulled onto the back. And as you stand up, use your hamstrings to do the work. Keep those knees straight but not locked. You'll do about two to three sets of eight to 10 reps. Next, we have the split squat. This is very similar to a lunge, except for your feet will remain in a fixed position. So you'll start facing the side with one leg in front, the other leg propped up behind you on the ball of the foot. Zip up through the core, take a deep breath in, put your hands on your hips, and as you exhale, bend both knees so that the back knee aims towards the floor. Come all the way back up. That front knee should point directly over the second toe. Now, if this bothers your back knee, you can shorten your stance just a little bit, tuck your tailbone a smidge, and go just a little less than you did before. So maybe not as deep. You'll do this on both sides. Do eight to 10 reps in two to three sets per side. For the next exercise, we're going to do an elevated glute bridge. So you're gonna need a stool or a box or a bench or even a chair and place that at the end of a mat or something soft to lie down on. You'll lie on your back and place your feet at the top of that surface. With your feet hip distance apart, engage through the core, reach long through the arms and the fingers to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, press into your feet, lifting your hips so they make a straight line between your shoulders and your knees. This is a great exercise for hamstrings, for glutes, but also for your core, especially if you engage your pelvic floor muscles while you do it. You'll do three sets of eight to 10 reps. For the next exercise, you'll lie down on a mat or a soft surface on your stomach. This exercise is prone leg lifts. It's a hamstring and glute exercise done with straight legs from a long spine. So you'll wanna make sure that when you're lying down, you're pulling your belly button in and keeping your back supported. Lie down and put your hands underneath your forehead and then we're gonna lift one leg at a time, alternating. Do two to three sets of 10 reps, alternating each side. For this exercise, you're gonna need a foam roller or a rolled up towel. A beach towel is best because you'll want a little bit of a distance between your knee and the floor. This is a short arc knee extension. So you're going to recline back on your arms. You can even go down to your elbows if you like. And you're going to straighten your leg to lift your foot off the ground and come back down. Try that again. Having the roller or the towel underneath your knee just gives you a little bit more range of motion. So it takes the motion of the quad set and gives you a greater distance. You'll do this on both sides. Aim for two to three sets of eight to 10 reps. If you enjoyed that exercise content today, be sure to like the video, hit subscribe, and follow along for more Healthline tips. See you next time.